Good evening, everyone. Hello. Welcome, Carlos, Miguel, ah, Filomena. Hello. Thank you for being here. Noé. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Class. Good evening. Hey, hey, nice to listen to your voice. Okay. So tell me, have you been working in the platform? ¿Han estado trabajando en la plataforma, chicos? Sí. Yes. Sí. Yes. Yes. Encontraron problemas con algún ejercicio, alguna actividad, ¿no? ¿Todo bien hasta el momento? Yes. Ok, perfect. Excellent. And how was your day today? Hello, Noah. ¿Cómo estuvo el día hoy? Great, fabulous. Mm -hmm. Ok, sure. so, so good evening. Ok, let's expect your see. connectivity is going to work. Ah, Filomena, your day was very busy. Yes. Very, very busy. Working hard. Hardworking woman. You say, teacher, I am a hardworking woman. Soy una mujer muy trabajadora. Hardworking woman. Okay. So it is great. And what about you, Noé? How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Nice. Excellent. Okay. Or busy. But I need you to activate your microphone because I don't listen to you. Necesito que active, active el micrófono, Noé. No se le escucha porque el micrófono lo tiene apagado. Okay, excellent. Ahora sí. Uh, yes, great. And tell me how was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo el día hoy, Noé? Nice. So nice. So Nice, okay. Nice. You say very busy, okay. So nice. And Carlos Miguel, your day? How was your day? I have a nice day. You had a nice day at work. Okay, excellent. And did you notice that the, the weather is changing a little bit? Ya se fijaron que el clima está cambiando un poquito? It is fresher, right? In the morning, you smell the end of the year. En las mañanas ya respiramos el ambiente del fin de año, ¿verdad? It is kind yeah. of breezy, breezy, con brisa amanece, ¿ya? Okay, October. Excellent. And Brandon, hello, welcome. How was your day today, Brandon? ¿Cómo estuvo hoy el día, Brandon? Nice, busy. Okay. Every, everything was nice. Everything blue. Todo bien, todo azul. Todo, todo bien, Okay, great, excellent. <clears throat> so um, today we're going to get started because it is exactly the time. And remember, we always need more time in order to continue practicing, correct? Siempre necesitamos más tiempo para continuar practicando. So welcome everyone. I am so happy that all of you are here and let's expect that you're going to have a good connectivity today. No problems with your internet. And um, because I think there is no rain um, for today, right? Creo que no han pronosticado lluvia para hoy, ¿verdad? Entonces, todo bien. Yeah? Okay, here we go. I'm going to start sharing my screen with you, class. Okay? So, um, here, so we can have the feedback and the introduction for the new topic today. And here we go. Okay, let's see here. Do you see my screen, people? Yes. Observan mi, 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 mi presentación, yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, great, excellent. Thank you, Brandon, uh, Filomena. Okay, here. Today is October 5th, 2022, and we are in module number two, okay? So we continue, and here we go. Today is our video conference. I know it is our video conference number three. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming, right? I'm going to change it. So sorry, but I was planning, you know, the complete week. And it is, I know, I need the other one, not this one. This is the one that I need so I can make the changes because Today is Wednesday, so it cannot be possible to have our PPT number four. So it is number three. But anyways, class, okay, uh, we have 
that in our video conference today, we have this agenda. Welcome, William, and the ones who joined recently. Thank you for being here. And we have for our video conference number three, because today is Wednesday, greetings, feedback, the objectives. Um, we're going to be working today with how many and how much properly. And you have to identify the use of how much and how many properly. We're going to be working with how much and how many. And we're going to be working with pages 14, 15, and 16. So here we go. Again, I'm going to request from you to help me reading the specific objective and the class objective, okay? Who wants to help me? One volunteer to read the specific objective and the class objective, hello. Hello, hello. <gasps> Only one volunteer, please don't make me cry. Thank you, Marlene. Ah, now I have two participants. Marlene, please read the specific objective. Uh, participant will be able to describe activities and events in the workplace and other environments. Environment. 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 Okay, environment. A class objective participants will be able to make question with how many and how much. Excellent. So you're going to be constructing questions using how much and how many. Thank you so much, Miss, for helping me. And now let's move to the next slide. Here, just a reminder, okay, of homeworks and evaluations. And I asked you about this um, at the beginning of the meeting. And remember, don't, uh, don't uh, say I'm going to uh, do the homework on Friday because probably some problems might emerge like, Electricity, power in our country, it is a problem, right? Internet connectivity, and then you're going to be delayed with your homeworks. And remember that this week, it is week number one, you only have homeworks, you don't have evaluation until next week. And remember that it is mandatory, it is an obligation to have to get the 80% as an average in the homeworks and evaluations, okay? and you know about the final test and everything. So here, I'm going to uh, work on this reminder or this requirement from Instacorp. Nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente y luego de su nombre, okay? Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible porque Ya se dieron cuenta que todo queda grabado, ¿verdad? Y todo lo que está a nuestro alrededor, pues queda en la grabación cuando tenemos the microphone on. Y la participación activa, it is mandatory because practice makes perfect, okay? And then here, the attendance, 100%, 120 minutes in each class, 120 minutos de la clase porque son dos horas reloj. Okay, la asistencia siempre la tomamos en dos ocasiones aproximadamente, approximately at 8.20 and at 9.40, okay? Y you have to activate, tiene que activar la cámara, okay, en la asistencia, ¿sí? Okay, muy bien. And then, this is what I was telling you about the camera. It is a requirement to keep it on microphone off, unless you're going to be participating. You have the chat via WhatsApp or here, the chat in the class via Zoom in order to practice or make any comments. And the active participation in the breakout rooms. And the button to ask for help is also active and respect for everyone. And here, by October the 7th, the day after tomorrow on Friday, we expect that you are done um, at midnight with the homeworks for week number one. Esperamos, tenemos la expectativa que para el día 7 de octubre 
at midnight, a medianoche, ya hayan completado sus cinco tareas de la semana uno, porque yo necesito actualizar, ¿ok? And then you have the dates. So let's move if there is no problem or question or comment. And here we go. This is a reminder of what we have been working with, but to some people it is kind of a little bit difficult, the verb to be. Let's remember that in present tense we have am, um, are, is, 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 are, are, and are. Am um is exclusively used for the first person singular, I, I am, yes? I am a secretary, I am an architect. You, two times, because this is singular and this is plural, okay? For he, she, it, third person singular, we use is. For the rest of the subject pronouns, are, 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 and are. In affirmative, right? And then here, let me see, let me check the chat. Hello, welcome, Marlene, Ana Veronica, Clelia, uh, Blanca Luz, Ivania, thank you so much, Edwin Mineros, Carmen Guadalupe, Janice, thank you so much for being here. Williams, Danny, hello, great to have you here. Okay, and let's see what. Okay, Edwin, thank you for writing that you're here. Hey, Noah. Okay, thank you, Noé, for telling me that. Esto es repaso, ¿verdad? De lo que hemos estado viendo, ¿sí? In affirmatives, the verb to be in simple present tense. And here, the negative that we were practicing with yesterday, I am not, is not, are not. Recordemos que I'm not es usado exclusivamente para la primera persona de singular I. I'm not, este no lo podemos contractar. I'm not, no, se mantiene, pero sí podemos contractar. Isn't, aren't. I am not, I'm not. Lo que podemos contractar es el pronombre personal y el verbo to be. Pero el verbo to be y el negativo no se puede contractar. Se mantiene completo. And then, here we have the conjugation and the contraction of the verb to be and the subject pronoun. I am not, I'm not. You are not, you're not. He is not, he's not. She is not, she's not. He is not, he's not. It is not, it's not. We are not, we're not. You are not, you're not. They are not, they aren't, okay? Or they are not. This is just a feedback, a review of what we have been practicing. And yesterday, if you remember class, we were working with the frequency words or frequency adverbs in order to express daily routines or regular activities at work. And here, you were organizing these sentences and you were adding the frequency word or frequency adverb. And then we got these sentences. Do you remember that? Okay, you have this via WhatsApp because I shared it with you. And now, okay, we move hmm, to the next slide. Ta -da. And here today we're going to be working with countable and uncountable nouns. We have here some examples of the countable nouns, computer, radio, TV, cell phone, house, desk, table, snake, elephant, river, bottle, car, factory, book, plane, airport, dish. Picture, printer, truck, motorcycle, racket, ball, auditorium, movie, fan, flower, image, egg, tomato, avocado, apple, cup of coffee, glass of water without the stress, okay? Swimming pool and uncountable nouns. Money, time, water, soda, rice, coffee, sugar, salt, 
oil, gas, love, sadness, happiness, humbleness, intelligence, beer, wine, milk, chocolate, fruit, food, butter, meat, jam, bread, cream, sauce, tea, vegetable, mustard, liquid, ink, alcohol. Now class, I ask you the question. The question goes to everybody, okay? So raise your hand or open your microphone if you want to answer. What is the difference between countable nouns and uncountable nouns? Do you remember? Okay, why do we have that difference? Countable and uncountable nouns. Do you remember? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre los nombres contables y los no contables? Why do we have that classification? Hello, does anybody remember? It is like this. The name tells you countable, you can count them. Los contables porque los podemos contar. Uncountable porque no se pueden contar. Y les he compartido acá algunos ejemplos, right? Okay, let's see here. Computer, a computer, one computer, two computers, three computers, yes or no? One radio, two radios, three radios. One TV, two TVs, a hundred TVs, five cell phones. How many cell phones do you have? I have two cell phones, I have three, I have only one, yes? House, desk, los contables son los que sí se pueden contar y utilizamos los quantifiers. ¿Qué entendemos por quantifiers? Son las palabras que nos ayudan a determinar ¿Cuántos elementos de esos hay visualizamos o describimos? If we say, I need two eggs, five tomatoes, and two avocados from the supermarket. Cuando hacemos la lista en el supermercado para ir a to go shopping to the supermarket. Yes? Sí? Sin embargo, las uncountable nouns no los podemos cuantificar. Money. If I say, for example, let me see, Edwin. Hello, Edwin. Edwin, are you here? Hi, teacher. Hi. I have a question for you, sir. How much money do you have right now? How much money do you have? Hello? How much money do you have? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the question, and you can help him if you remember one potential answer. Okay, over here, let's see if I ask Edwin, okay? Edwin, okay, and I ask him, how much money do you have. This is the question. Now tell me one potential answer. Una, una respuesta probable. Mm, mm -hmm. No, no, no. <laughs> Hello. Okay, Pero, maybe someone can help you. Fuera, Hello. Qué bueno fuera, le digo. <laughs> no, the thing is here. Look at this. How much money do you have? The answer is probably I have 10 dollars do you notice this yo le pregunté con dinero how much money do you have cuánto dinero tienes pero usted no me dijo yo tengo 10 dineros verdad que no usted me contesta con dólares o monedas yes Okay. Con la denominación. Por lo tanto, money is an uncountable noun. Es un nombre incontable porque no se puede contar el dinero. You can count dollars and coins, the currency. Usted puede contar eh, las monedas o los billetes de las diferentes denominaciones en cualquier, ya sea pesos, colones, uh, rupias, okay, soles, córdobas. 
pero no puede contar el dinero. Por lo tanto, el dinero es uncountable, es incontable. Esa palabra countable no se puede cuantificar, but you can quantify dollars and coins. Yes, do you notice the difference? Los nombres no contables se pueden volver contables cuando usamos un cuantificador. Ya. Yeah? Ok, let's continue. Thank you. Let's continue analyzing the examples. And here, let's pay close attention to the uncountable time. When we ask, what time is it? Yeah, what time is it? Preguntamos qué hora es. ¿Cuál es la respuesta? It's, if I ask you right now, hey guys, what time is it? It's, ¿qué me contestarían? It's a... Eh, eh, ok, pero no me dicen it's time, eight, ¿verdad que no me dicen eso? Entonces el tiempo, la palabra tiempo no se puede cuantificar. Cuantificamos the time, pero no, no, la palabra time no, en el tiempo vamos a cuantificar. Hours, minutes, and seconds. Years, months, days, weeks. Centuries, decades, ¿sí? Pero en la palabra tiempo no se puede cuantificar. Water, I need some water, necesito agua. No podemos cuantificar porque hablamos en general, I need water, necesito agua. Oh, how much water do you need? ¿Cuánta agua necesitas? A glass of water, a gallon of water, or a bottle of water. Ahí ya lo estamos volviendo cuantificable porque usted está hablando de un vaso de agua, una botella de agua, un galón de agua, ¿sí? ¿Notan la diferencia? Entonces, guys, we're going to ask questions. How many with the countables? Vamos a utilizar how many para los nombres contable lo que podemos contar y para los uncountable how much is that okay estamos claros hasta ahí les comento porque de eso hablaremos este día okay so this is a, the introduction and I'm going to share this slide with you so you can have it okay and here as a reference I'm going to share it right now via WhatsApp. If you have any question, please ask me, okay? Feel free to ask me any question about the topic. Okay. I need you to read the information in that slide. Necesito que lean la información en esa... Okay. En esa imagen. See? And tell me if you have any question about it. Porque fíjense, acá. Um, water, soda, coffee, oil. La mayoría son líquidos. En general, no sé, beer, wine, alcohol, no se cuantifican. But you may say an ounce of alcohol, una onza de alcohol, okay? And then tenemos acá, miren, love, sadness, happiness, humbleness, el amor. ¿Se puede cuantificar el amor? How much do you love your children? ¿Cuánto aman a sus hijos? <laughs> A lot, you tell me, pero no me dicen, I love my, my son three pounds. No podemos decir, yo amo a mi hijo tres libras. No lo podemos cuantificar, ¿verdad? Sadness, la tristeza. Can you quantify sadness? Con chocolate, teacher. Ah, oh, el chocolate no lo podemos cuantificar. You can count the bars of chocolate. Puede cuantificar la barra de chocolate. Uh -huh. de, de cups of chocolate ya los gramos de chocolate la leche tampoco pero sí las latas de leche el vaso de leche, la botella de leche un litro de leche pero en general la leche no tampoco el café ni el té mustard, la mostaza you can not count it pero si ya dice 
um, a, a bottle of mustard, un bote de mostaza, ahí sí lo estamos volviendo cuantificable. Ink, la tinta también es incontable, pero si usted dice a bottle of ink or a cartridge of ink, un cartucho de tinta, ahí lo estamos volviendo cuantificable, pero en general no. Y la humbleness, la humildad, la podemos cuantificar. No, ¿verdad? No. Entonces, los sentimientos, las sensaciones, no se pueden cuantificar. And what about intelligence? Can you count intelligence? Se puede medir a través de un test de IQ, pero no podemos ir a la tienda o a la department store. I need to buy um, 100 pounds of intelligence. Necesito comprar 100 libras de inteligencia, ¿no? ¿Está ok? No se puede, ¿verdad? Butter, la mantequilla. No, but you can count the butter. Uh, the bars of butter, la barra de mantequilla, or the bottle, or the jar of butter. Lo mismo sucede con la miel. Food, I like the food. Me encanta la comida. But you don't say two foods, no. Dos comidas, no. No, en inglés no se dice así. Fruit is in general. I love fruit. Me fascina la fruta. Me encanta la fruta. Es en general. No se contabiliza. Pero si usted dice, I like bananas. Ok, me gustan las bananas. I see how much bananas do you eat eh, a day. I eat one banana, que ahí sí la cuantifica, pero la palabra fruta, no, ok. And now, <clears throat> that we have here, we have jam, jamón en general, but you can say one package of jam, one pound of jam, ya. Yeah? Los incontables, algunos de ellos, la mayoría, se pueden volver cuantificables cuando usamos los cuantificadores, una libra, una botella, una rodaja, ¿ya? A piece of, un pedazo de, a piece of bread, un pedazo de pan o una rodaja, a loaf of bread, una rodaja de pan. But bread in general, no, ¿ok? <coughs> questions or comments? Ok, since you don't have any question or any comment, I'm going to ask you something. I'm going to ask you to activate your cameras because I'm going to take your attendance. Vamos con la asistencia. Here we go. Okay, let's see. Cameras on. Ana Marlene. Present. Thank you so much, Miss. Miss Ana Verónica. Present. Thank Present. you. Brandon. Brandon Artemides. Thank you. Carlos Miguel. Here I am, teacher. Great, thank you. Very responsible. Carmen Guadalupe. Present. Okay, yesterday we were missing you. Miss Clelia, where are you, Miss Clelia? Present. Thank you. Danny, hello, Danny. Present. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present. Great. Edwin Roberto. Edwin. Thank you. Okay, here. Ivania. Present. Thank you, Miss. Janice, Caroline. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Jenis. Jonathan, Jonathan, where are you? Jonathan, not yet. Jonathan is not available. No, not yet. Okay. Jose Dimas? Yes. Okay. Jose Manuel Mejia? Present teacher. Okay, great. You're here. That's nice. Jose Mario, absent. Juan Ezequiel, 
I Present. saw you here. Thank you. Great. Marlene Oneida. Present. Thank you, Miss Milton. Present. Great. Milton. Serafin, are you here? Yes. Hello, Serafin. Thank you. Thank you, William Francisco. Present. Thank you. Filomena Luz. Present. Thank you, Miss. Blanqui, Blanca Luz. Present. Great. Alejandra Michel. Alejandra Michel. Alejandra Michel, the third call, no, absent, okay. Beatriz Adriana, absent. Noe. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Now class that we have been, uh, well, I have been describing the, the review, the feedback, and now uh, I also, shared with you the introduction of the topic. We're going to work with the manual, okay? So here we go. Because in here, okay, this is the introduction of the topic. So go to your manual, okay? And follow the teacher's instructions to work. We're going to be working, I expect to work at pages 14, 15, and 16. But if by any reason we cannot cover all the activities, we continue tomorrow. The important thing is that you understand as much as possible. So here we go. If you remember class yesterday, our last part of the class, we were working with work-related events and the time extrations for regular activities every day, every week every month, every year. Daily means every day. This is an expression similar to every day. Weekly means every week. Monthly, every month. And yearly, every year. So here we have daily activities and routines and scheduled events. Here we were working yesterday, if you remember, we as a class, we built five questions and we were asking the questions to your partners. So here, write five questions you can ask a classmate about a regular day at his or her job using do and does. So we're going to have a little feedback on do and does. Okay, listen class, when we don't have the verb to be in the sentences, in simple present tense, cuando no tenemos el verbo to be en las oraciones en presente simple, y no vamos a, a estructurar una oración en presente simple con el verbo to be, ¿cuál es el modal auxiliar y que vamos a utilizar? ¿Se recuerdan? We use the modal auxiliary, do, yes? Pero if we ask questions in simple present for third person singular, then we use does, yes or no? Sí, se recuerdan? So we use do for I, you, we and they. Do you remember this? Do I, do you, do we, do they? Yes or no? ¿Se recuerdan esto? Level one. And then we use does for he, she, it. Sí, ¿Sí lo recordamos? Entonces, Do I play mm, tennis? You may ask, do I play tennis? 
let's imagine that I ask you this class. Do I play tennis? ¿Qué me contestarían ustedes en afirmativo? Yes, yes I, I do. Yes, I do. No. no, porque no le estoy preguntando a usted, le estoy preguntando sobre mí a usted. No es pregunta directa. Yo le pregunto a usted, do I play yes, tennis? Do. Yes, you do very well. Yes, you do. Fíjense que cuando preguntamos con I, que es muy raro, ¿verdad? Que pregunte uno mismo a otros, va a contestar con you, porque yo le pregunto a usted sobre mí, no le estoy preguntando sobre usted. Es diferente cuando yo le digo a usted, do you, do you listen to music? Do you listen to music? Now the answer is in affirmative. Yes. Yes, yes, I do. Excellent. Yes, I do. Aquí sí. ¿Por qué? Porque le estoy preguntando directamente a usted sobre algo que usted hace. Sí. Entonces, si me preguntan con you, voy a contestar con I, a menos que sea en plural. Ok. If I say, hey, class, do you, do you have a class at 8 p.m. Do you have a class at 8 p.m.? Les pregunto a todos. Entonces, como es plural, sería yes, we, do. Yes. Acá sería yes, we do. And in negative, the answer in negative should be no. No, we don't. No, we don't. Very well. Pero si yo les pregunto, does, uy, capital letter, does Carlos visit clients? Does Carlos visit clients? The affirmative answer, short answer. Yes, he does. Yes, he, do. yes, he does. Vamos a contestar con el mismo auxiliar, ¿ok? Si les preguntan con das, van a contestar con das. Si les preguntan con do, contestan con do. And the negative answer, no. He doesn't. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Se recuerdan? Do you remember this? Level one. Now, if I say, does Veronica work in the morning, does Veronica work in the morning? The potential affirmative answer should be, afirmativa la respuesta? Yes, she does. Yes. Yes, she does. Yes. Negative? No. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Very well. No, she doesn't. Excellent. It's capital letter. And now with they. Do they go to the park at night? Do they go to the park at night? The affirmative answer? Do, yes, they, 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 do. they do. Excellent. Yes, they do. do. And the negative answer? No, they, no, don't. they don't. No, they don't. don't. Very well. Okay. So you see? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Okay. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Okay? Questions or comments about this feedback on the use of the modal auxiliary do and does for the simple present tense questions? Y recuerden que este es el verbo que vamos a utilizar cuando no hay otro verbo modal auxiliar en presente o... No está el verbo to be, porque el verbo to be por sí mismo es a modal auxiliary, ¿ok?
En, y con it. Ah, sí, pero necesito borrar eso. Ah, no, tal vez acá. Porque ya no tengo espacio ahí. Ok, I'm going to get some space. Ok, here. Does it drink milk? Does it drink milk? The affirmative? Yes. What should it be the affirmative? Yes. It does. It does. Or no. No, it doesn't. Excellent. No, it doesn't. Pero recuerden que acá, it could be maybe a pet, a dog, a puppy, or a cat. Pero podría yo también preguntar, does the um, dog drink milk? Si yo les preguntara, does the, does the dog drink milk? Usted me contesta perfectamente. Y es si does, no, it doesn't. Porque it replaces the dog. It substitutes the dog, okay? It. And there is no problem at all, yeah? Any other comment or question about it? It is just a reminder, okay? Marlene, do you have a question? In our teacher. Okay, great. So you tell me when we can move to the next activity, okay? Or I don't know if uh, someone can take a screenshot and share it via WhatsApp. Maybe Carlos, I don't know. Carlos, are you here? Or maybe I am here. Jonathan, are you here, Jonathan? Not yet. Jonathan is not here. Hi, yes. Ah, <laughs> I was about to request from you to do me a favor, okay? To take a screenshot of the sentences and share it via WhatsApp. Because I have it in here so your partners can write it. Remember to tell me, please, when we can move to the next activity, okay? Two more minutes.
Yes. Okay. Now, please get ready with your manual. I think that by now, all of you have downloaded the manual from the platform. Is that okay? A estas alturas, me imagino que ya todos y todas descargaron el manual de la plataforma. Is it correct? Correct. Excellent. So you don't need to take a screenshot of the, of the presentation for working, right? And here we go. I'm going to continue with the manual, okay? Because you have this information also via WhatsApp. So I'm going to stop sharing. And it was a reminder. Miss Alejandra Michel. Is here. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Serafin, because you're here. Okay, we went over this yesterday. And now here, let's work with this situation, okay? Request a specific personal finance, finance information, and scan a specific information fields in an informative document. How often do you have vacations? Here we start, as I told you, with how often and how much, okay? So here, let's see. How often do you have vacations at your job? When do you take them? Here we have. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice it with a partner. And here you have the expressions to ask about money. How much money do they pay? How much do they charge? How much is it? How much do you earn every month? How much do you earn monthly? Notice that earn. In Spanish, we don't notice the difference, but in English, it matters. But in English, see, sí. why? Because, um, okay. This is a verb, earn, okay? And we have the verb, win. In Spanish, we use it the same. It depends on the context, but in English, it is about earn, about money. And win is about, uh, you win a competition, okay? You win, what else? a reward, un reconocimiento, you win a, a medal, yeah? And you win a first place or something like that, but earn is about money. Actually, let me tell you that it is an unpolite question because if I ask you how much do you earn every month, cuánto ganas al mes, it is an unpolite question, yes? Es una palabra, es una pregunta poco cortés. Es una pregunta no amable. Si preguntamos cuánto ganas, cuánto ganas, cuánto es su salario. Because it is something personal. I think, I don't know for you. So let's be clear about earn is about money. Win is about a competition, reward, a medal or whatever. But earn is basically for money, okay? Es para ganar dinero, salario. So here, this is what you're going to be practicing right now. And if remember when I asked Edwin, Edwin, how much money do you have? Because how much is to ask about money? Porque es incontable. Mm -hmm. And here we have. Again, listen to your teacher and read the conversation, then practice it with a partner. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have a paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? 
And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600, okay? Congratulations for Josh. Then one more time. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. I need two volunteers to read this conversation. Me, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hi. hi, teacher. Okay, hi. So let's listen. Ana Veronica and Ana Marlene, you're, hi. Josh, so we're going to Marlene and David, and later Veronica and Carlos, okay? You begin, uh, Marlene and David, and after Veronica and Carlos, okay? Let's begin. Okay, I'm Bruce. Uh, yes. Hey, George, I have a question for you. Do you have a paid vacation at your job? David Emanuel. Hello, David, are you here? Emanuel. Okay, Carlos, please answer. You're going to read Josh because I think that probably um, David had a problem. Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have eight vacations. How many days do you have? Uh, 20 days, uh, to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. I have just two. With each bonus, bonus is for more than 600. Thank you so much. Great. Veronica. Hello, Veronica. Ana Veronica. It is your turn. Ana Veronica. Let me see. Veronica, are you here? No, she's not. Okay, so uh, I'm going to ask Blanca, Blanca Luz. And Jonathan, Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan, you read uh, Josh and Blanky. You read uh, Ruth, okay? Veronica was waiting for you. Okay, begin. Okay. Hey, George, I have a question for you. And do you have a pain vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? Uh, 20 days to be exact. Uh, how many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have, I, I have four bonuses. What about, uh, what about you? And how much uh, do you save? I have just just two, but each bonus is for more than six hundred. Thank you so much. Great, Veronica. You're going to read Ruth and maybe David Emanuel. Are you here? No. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay. Okay. Now you are going to read Josh. Let's begin, Veronica. Okay. Uh, 
Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days, to be exact. How many bursts do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What, what about you? And uh, how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than six, $600. Okay, thank you so much. Notice that we have here the word bonus, singular. Bonuses is plural. How many days, because you can count the days, yes? And how much do you receive? ¿Cuánto recibes? Obviamente de dinero. Por eso preguntamos con how much. Is that okay? And here, how many days? How many bonuses? Porque los bonos se cuentan. One bonus, two bonus, three bonus, five bonuses. Yeah? Plural. One more time. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have a paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. Exact. To be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two. But each bonus is for more than $600. The first activity you are going to practice in the breakout rooms, you are going to read this conversation, but you are going to switch roles. Practicamos la conversación e intercambian roles, intercambiando los, los nombres, porque Ruth, eh, Verónica no le va a decir a, a, a David, hey, Hey, Josh, ya le tiene que decir David, ¿verdad? Primera vez la leen tal cual como está. Luego intercambian roles, pero ya con sus nombres verdaderos, ¿sí? Y eh, cuando intercambien roles, ya van a decir su información verdadera porque van a usar sus nombres. Y si reciben o no reciben bonos, ¿cuántos bonos reciben? Eh, y aquí, use your imagination for the, for the amount. Si reciben bono, usen su imaginación si no quieren compartir la información real, porque recuerden que, uh, as I told you, it is an unpolite question, right? No es una pregunta corta, es preguntar sobre tu salario, ¿por qué? But if you are very confident, pero si son okay, con mucha confianza, entonces sí lo pueden hacer. ¿Ok? And how many days, because many people have... Uh, 15 days or only two days plus the, plus the holidays. Las vacaciones regulares más los días de vacación. Y hay quienes no, no, no disfrutan de los holidays, pero sí de tres semanas o 20 días, right? And when you finish that here, circle the word that best completes the questions. Acaban a seleccionar como equipo si es much or many para completar las preguntas. In exercise number four, your turn. Use one of these questions above to complete the mini conversations. Y acá vamos a usar ya sea how much or how many, ¿verdad? Con las preguntas que están acá para completar estas conversaciones. Use one of the questions above. It is, are you going to say how much do they pay or how many do they pay? How much, okay, or how many? En este caso sería, how much is it or how many is it? ¿Qué consideran ustedes que se? Ok, ok, oh, we're going to work at page 14. Dependiendo del contexto, ahí lo discuten en, la, en el equipo, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, class, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Do you have any question before we move to the breakout rooms? Preguntas o dudas? Sobre la actividad a realizar? Eh, no, teacher. Ok. Ok. 
Okay, wait. Here. Okay, right now I'm going to send you the invitation. And here we go. First activity to practice the conversation as it is, tal cual como está. Second activity, you switch your names. Cambian los nombres por sus nombres verdaderos y por su información real, ¿sí? Luego completan las preguntas con how much or how many y al final para que tengamos esa respuesta, ¿cuál es la pregunta que debimos haber estructurado? Ok, here we go. As a team, let's work everybody participating. I sent you the invitation. Please go to your groups and begin the practice. Go to your groups and begin the practice. Okay. Brandon, I need you in group number three. Filomena, go to your group. Noé, your group. Filomena, go to group number five. Filomena, I need you in your group, please. Filomena. Filomena, I need you in group five. Hello, class. Listen, girls, Carmen and Ivania. Um, Luz Filomena was supposed to be here, but I think that she's having a problem with the connectivity, okay? Okay. Tan pronto como ella. Regrese porque si me está escribiendo. Ok. Ok, begin. Ok. Hey Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days, to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I had four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you recite? receive? Receive. Receive. How I much have, do you receive? I have used two, but age bonus is for more time, $600. Okay. Okay, listen, oh. Filomena is here. I'm sorry, Filomena, but I sent you to another group, but you are here, okay? So you can practice with her too, girls, okay? Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 I have just one. But each bonus is for more than twenty twenty dollars. Okay. Yeah, you can. I can, right? Mm-hmm. Y ahora. Ahora quién? Sí, con quién? Ahí sí. Y vamos en la tercera. Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many amounts do you have per year's group? I have from bonus. What about you? And how much did you receive? I have just two. Uh, este... 
Ah, pues si quieres, este, bueno, yo soy Ruth y, y tú, Josh. Bye. Bye. Hey, Josh. I have a question for you. Do you, have, do you have five vacation at your work? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Uh, me too. Uh, I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? Okay. Okay. Uh, Comienza ya. Sí. Bye. Hey, Josh. I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do. Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be fixed. Hot money. Bonus do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much? Arriba, arriba. No, en open no. En freelancing, ahí. Ahí ya voy a poder editar. No, 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 no de clic en ninguna opción. En la primera, déjela, ahí está. Okay. Ahora sí va a poder escribir. Ah, vaya. Uh -huh. Y para Achio. guardarle, para guardarlo, guarda como un documento nuevo. Ah, ya. Guardar como. Okay. Chivo, chivo, va, espera. Quiero ver. Vale. Quiero que lo veo aquí a usted. Acá lo veo. Felici la felicito, <risa> Verónica. Hasta, hasta, lo, hasta la compu tiene en inglés, me llega. Ah, sí, no, sí, ¿por qué cree que estoy en el curso? <risa> me llega. Vaya, este, veamos con esta, ya practicamos la conversation, eh, teacher, dado que los tres habíamos participado en la clase, ¿verdad? ya practicamos con la info personal, ahora vamos con, a utilizar esto para la segunda actividad y luego, uh -huh. sí, ahí estamos, ok, vaya de mano, eh, círculo, para, 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 acá vamos a comenzar, ¿verdad? quiero ver, Ajá, sí. comencemos entonces. How much or how many? En el primer caso, dice... Recibo... 545 mensual. Monthly sí, es mensualidad, mensualidad, ¿verdad? Monthly. Ajá, sí. Mensual. Ok. okay. They, They take... Uh, 23... 23 period. Ajá. Eh, How much? Por, How cada, much? por cada uno es. Me sería yo entonces. Ok, ya. Yeah. Okay, ¿Cómo se llama usted? Ezequiel. Eh, o Juan, okay. Juan, más fácil. Ok. Espera, 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 espera. Ok. <risas> me salí de la conversación aquí ahorita yo la veo. Ahí me dice cuando esté listo. Ya le aviso, espérame, que me salí la sí. conversación, por estar moviendo como lo tengo para. Listo, si quieren lo hacemos con. Cambiamos ahí de pareja. Ok. Pero habría que contestar la parte ah, 3 sí. de la página 14 todavía de encerrar si es how much o how money ah, bueno. y las preguntas estas de este lado también by stupid world that is how much How much do they pay? Vaya, contestamos las preguntas. Sí. Ajá, con las preguntas. Yes, one request. Okay. 
ask how much money how money para contables y how much para incontable it, it is ten ten que sería ese es contable verdad it is sí porque la de abajo sería I make para para los precios uh -huh. para pedir precios preguntar por los precios how much porque es sobre dinero uh -huh. sí Okay. How much? Uh -huh. Y como el sujeto es it, entonces, ¿qué tal si decimos? How much is it? ¿Ya? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Ok. How many? Y la segunda, ¿qué quiere decir? I make. Es Yo... el dinero, el dinero que ganas. Ajá, al mes. Ajá. ¿Eso sí se puede contar o no? No, porque solo estamos usando preguntas con how much o how many. Vale. Uh -huh. How much. Ok, how much. How much I make. Do you. Mm. Uh -huh. Porque como va a contestar con I, es do you make. Sí, how much do you make. Monthly. How much do you make monthly. Or how much money, para ser más específico. Pero en inglés ya se sabe que how much do you make monthly es acerca del salario, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Ok. Hay dos tipos de ganar. Okay. Hay dos tipos de ganar. Hola. Uh -huh. much, entonces. Hola, teacher. Hola, teacher. Tenemos una duda. Vaya. En esta parte eh, estamos utilizando, ¿verdad? Aquí están las respuestas, las, las answers. Number one entonces, and number two are okay. Ah, vaya. Fíjense bien que ahí earn es lo mismo que make, ¿verdad? En ese contexto, ah, yeah. no hay problema. How much uh -huh. do you make monthly? Or how much money do you make? Or how much money do you earn? Pero cuando decimos I make, es más informal que earn, ¿ya? Yeah? Okay. Okay. ok. Pero está correcto. No problem. Ok, okay. teacher. Thank you. Ok. okay. Ahora sigamos. La tercera dice, they take. Ellos tienen. Prefer, ellos. Here I am. Tell me. Hey, teacher. Estamos aquí preguntando, ¿no? How many, how much? Es diferente, ¿verdad? Yeah. Este, esto tiene que ver con los incontables, con los contables y los no contables. Correcto. Uno se utiliza para contables y uno para incontables. Así Correcto. Es. El how many para lo que se puede contar. How much para lo que no se puede contar. Para preguntar sobre precios, how much. Para dinero o salarios, how much, ¿ok? Ok, entonces, how many countables y how many uncountables? No, how many countables, how much uncountables. Mm -hmm. Con lo que no puedes contar, y si yo le digo, uh, how much do you love your mother? ¿Cuánto amas a tu mamá? No, me puede, no le puedo preguntar a how many, porque no me va a decir uh, two kilos. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, lo que no se puede contar lo preguntamos con how much. Y lo Va, que pero en este, en este caso, ajá, yes. eso le comprendo. En este caso de la, de la, lo que tenemos que completar aquí en la imagen, este, todos tienen, tienen que, que elaborar las preguntas. Así es, porque recuerden lo que expliqué al inicio. 
que lo, muchos de los nombres que no se pueden contar, como por ejemplo, money, time, entonces se pueden volver contables cuando lo cuantificamos, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Cuando usamos los quantifiers. Pero para precios y para dinero, salario, siempre vamos a usar how much, aunque la respuesta ya vaya cuantificable, ¿sí? Porque no podemos decir how much monies, cuántos dineros, no, no existe. Mm -hmm. Do you make? No. Mm -hmm. Tenemos que decir how much money. Y la respuesta ya va cuantificable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Entonces, okay. en el número uno, ¿cómo consideran ustedes que quedaría la pregunta? How much? How much? How much? De ahí no sé. Is it? How much is it? ¿Cuánto how cuesta? Much? ¿Por qué? Oh. Porque puedo preguntar eso. Mire, how much is it? Este es el oh, lapicero. Wow. The pen. The red pen. Uh -huh. But if I say how much is it? It is a yellow ruler. Yes. And if I say uh, how much is it? It is a remote control. Entonces, ese it es para singular, para diferentes objetos o cosas. ¿Sí? How much is it? It is. Ten fifty, ten dollars and fifty cents. Okay. En, en, en la segunda podría ser how many? No, porque es dinero. Porque la respuesta está en dinero. Ajá, correcto. How much también? How much? Correcto. How much? That's it. That's correct. Okay. So si how era... much do you make? Mm -hmm. Do you make monthly? Uh -huh. Y otra palabra que podría sustituir make es earn, porque earn significa para ganar, pero dinero, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Se recuerda uh -huh. la diferencia que les establecí, verdad? Uh -huh. Between make and, uh, I mean, earn and win. Okay, so the question should be number two, how much do you uh -huh. make? Uh -huh earn or make monthly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very well. Mm -hmm. Pero entonces, teacher, es que lo, es lo que uh -huh. es que ando sueño, no comprendo. <risa> este, okay. Como todas aquí van con, con cantidades específicas, todas irían con how much. No, niña. Mire, uh -huh. el dinero no se puede contabilizar Usted uh -huh. puede contabilizar currency, la moneda, los billetes y las monedas, las coins, pero uh -huh. la palabra dinero no. El precio, sí, sí. Uh -huh. la palabra precio no, no es contable, pero la cantidad de dinero que usted le asigna a un producto, eso sí se cuantifica porque va a pagar en dólares o colones uh -huh. o pesos o córdobas, sí. Sí. cualquiera que sea la moneda entonces si yo le pregunto how much is it, cuánto cuesta usted me va a contestar con una cantidad determinada, ahí la palabra money o la palabra precio se vuelve cuantificable era uh -huh. lo que les decía, por ejemplo la palabra uh, water how much water do you drink cuánta agua tomas, le estoy hablando en general del agua y usted me puede decir a glass of I drink a glass of water a day. Yo me tomo un vaso de agua. Pero Dima mm -hmm. me puede decir, I drink two glasses of water. O me puede decir Juan, Juan Ezequiel, I drink eight glasses of water. Y Noé me puede contestar, I drink a gallon of water. Ahí del el, todo el universo de la palabra water, que es uncountable, no se puede cuantificar, cuando ya contestamos, lo volvemos contable, partitivo, cuando usamos los cuantificadores. ¿Cuáles son los cuantificadores? Un vaso de agua, una botella de agua, un galón de agua, un litro de agua. ¿Sí? Sí. Ok. Pero el nombre en general, water, es incontable. Incontable, sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, lo mismo sucede con uh, how much is it, preguntando el precio y... How much uh, money do you make? ¿Cuánto uh -huh. dinero ganas al mes o haces al mes? Cuando ya uh -huh. usted contesta, ya le dan una cantidad determinada de todo el dinero del mundo. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Es la palabra money. Uh -huh. Pero la palabra money no es contable. Uh 
No. Lo que es contable es su salario, ¿sí? Sí. Ok. Vaya, ahora veamos en la number three. They take 23 per item. Uh -huh. Arriba está la, la, la palabra. Charge. Charge. Ajá, charge es cuánto te cobran. Uh -huh. Sería how much or how many. En el ejercicio 2 tiene la respuesta. Uh -huh. Y siempre, siempre tiene que ser how much, porque le está respondiendo. Sí, correcto, es sobre la cantidad de dinero, cuánto te recargan. Uh -huh. How much do they charge? They take 23 per item. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Acá estamos usando todo porque es en relación a dinero, ¿sí? Entonces todas van con how much, ¿ok? Ah, eso es lo que yo le estaba diciendo. <ríe> que por en eso. En específico todas irían ¿eh? por, por cómo te da la respuesta. ¿no? Porque uh -huh. se relaciona a la palabra uh -huh. dinero, pero claro, dinero sí. no es un no es, money, es, no es contable. Contable, ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, sí, es un contable. Y aquí lo estamos convirtiendo en contable, ¿sí? ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. See you. See you, teacher. Gracias, teacher. Bye. Let's see how much do they pay watch. Y porque han puesto watch aquí, chicos. How much is it? Porque están preguntando sobre un precio. How much is it? ¿Cuánto cuesta? Acá está, miren. La pregunta de how much is it? Uh -huh. Ajá, how much is it? It is $10.50. Next one. How much do you receive per month? How much do you receive in the month? Um, yeah. Or how much do you make? Or how much do they pay? Yeah, monthly? Or how much do you earn every month or monthly? How much do they, no. Fíjense que acá, they take $23 per item. How much do they charge? ¿Cuánto cobran? How much do they charge? They take $23 per item. Spell, please. Acá lo How tiene. much do Acá they? Mire, es la, tercera, ah. la segunda pregunta. How much do they charge? ¿Cuánto te cobran o cuánto es el recargo? They take $23 per item. How oh. much do you receive for bonuses? The company pays... No, acá, fíjese que no le está preguntando por los bonos, le está preguntando por el salario con los bonos, dice, con los bonos hace 690. De company pays, entonces, ¿cuál sería la pregunta acá? How much do they pay? ¿Sí? For... How much do they pay? They, the company pays $690 with bonuses. Ahí ya van los bonos incluidos en los 690 dólares. How much do they pay? How much do they pay? Porque le está preguntando en general sobre el salario en esa compañía. ¿Cuánto pagan ellos? How much do they pay? How much do? Do they pay? They, they, oh, no. they. Lo tiene, ve la primera pregunta. How much do they pay? They pay. Uh -huh. That's okay. Así está bien ya. Okay. How much do they pay? Okay, and here. And did you practice the conversation? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. One minute we get back. Make sure that everybody has the same. Uh, questions, okay? Me, okay? Are you done, people? Yes? Yes. Finish. Okay, great. Now let's get back. And we are going to double check the answers and the questions that you are supposed to write, okay? 
Thank okay. you. Let's get back. Okay, let's wait for the other partners. They are in their way back. Let's wait for Dimas, Juan Ezequiel, Noé, Clelia, Dani. They are still in the groups. Veronica, Blanca Luz, and David, they are still working, but they are coming back. Okay, here we go, class. Listen, when we ask about money or about prices, we use how much because it is related to money. How much? How much is this pencil or pencil sharpener? ¿Cuál es el precio de esta saco punta? How much is this pencil sharpener? It is 25 cents, yes? And how much is, is it? How much is it? It's 50 cents, to tell you an example, yes? How much money do you make? ¿Cuál es tu salario? ¿Cuánto ganas, yes? How much, porque se refiere a dinero. Pero cuando contestamos, ya lo volvemos cuantificable. Porque usamos un partitivo. De todo eso, en general, money, solo vamos a referirnos a una pequeña parte, mísera parte, que es nuestro salario. Aparte de todos los millones que hay en el mundo, ¿verdad? Usted lo vuelve partitivo. Solo tomamos esa parte. Por eso se vuelve cuantificable. And based on that, here we're going to work on this. Let's see, class. Um, here. Circle the word that best completes the question. In number one, is it how much or how many do they pay? How and much? How much? Because it is about the salary. How much do they pay? In number two, how much or how many days do you have in the position? How many? Okay, because you can count the days, yes? Porque puedes contar los días. Entonces usamos how many. Y ustedes contestan, ¿sí? Entonces, ay, where is it? Here. And now, you have here, how much do they pay? How much do they charge? ¿Cuánto cobran? Okay, o cuánto le agregan al the impuesto, how much is it? How much do you earn every month? Or how much do you earn monthly? Or how much do they pay? How many days do you have in vacations? We're going to use this information in order to complete the questions to get these answers. Use one of the questions above to complete the mini conversations. Utiliza una de estas preguntas que están acá arriba para completar estas mini, estas mini conversaciones. If I say it is 10 and 50 dollars, which should be the question? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? How much, How much is, is it? How much is it? How much is it? And here we add the question mark because it is not in there, right? How much is it? It is $10.50. and 50 cents. What about I make 545 monthly? How so much the, do you earn every month? Monthly. Every month or monthly. Si utilizas every month, ya no usa monthly. Porque monthly es sinónimo de every month, ¿ya? Entonces, o utilizas every month o utiliza monthly. So you write how much how much do you earn monthly or how much do you make every month or how much do you make uh, monthly okay significaría lo mismo And then the answer is, I make $545 monthly. What about number three? They take $23 per item. The question should be? How much? How much do they charge? Okay, that's correct. How much do they charge? How much do 
they charge. Remember, don't forget never the question mark at the end in English. And the last one, the company pays $690 with bonuses. The question should be? How much do they do? They pay. They pay. How much do they pay? Very well. How much? Oh, it's capital letter at the beginning. How much do they pay? Question mark. How much do they pay? Is that okay? Okay, very well. Now we're going to continue practicing. Here, work-related events. Let's read the welcoming letter to Dominic's new job and answer the questions. Here we go. For a better future. Dear employee, but let me ask you, uh, when you began working in your company, in the company that you work for, did you receive a welcoming letter? ¿Recibieron una carta de bienvenida en su empleo? No. No. Okay. No. 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 Okay, no. okay, but listen, in this welcoming letter, notice the important information. It is not only, oh, we are happy because you are going to be part of our family in this company, because they always say we are a family, yes or no. Siempre eh, dicen eso, ¿verdad? Somos una familia y le damos la bienvenida, pero veamos lo que contiene esta carta de bienvenida. Traders Inc. for a better future. Dear employee, querido, estimado, excelente empleado, welcome to Travers Inc. Congratulations. You are now part of the Travers family. Here's some information about your new chat. Please read it carefully. Name Glenda Dominic Sanchez. Job title, job title, junior sales manager. Key job duties. Acá te hacen saber las obligaciones que tiene chico y chica. Okay, key job duties. So you say, <gasps> and nobody told me. Nadie me dijo. Uh -uh. Here you are. Okay, have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacations two weeks per year plus public holidays. Salary $440 per month plus bonus. Good luck, Mark Travers, CEO. It should be CEO, not CFO. CEO, Chief Executive Officer. Okay, tiene que ser CEO, CEO. And here, vacations two weeks per year plus public holidays. I want you to tell me to name some of the public holidays that we have in El Salvador. Name Mother's some Day. Mother's Day, another one. Father's Day. Father's Day, yes. Independence Day. The Independence Day. The one that it's correct. The the eh, para día de los muertos. What say? The the dead days. The dead day. El día de los muertos. Okay. Dead day. day. Next month, yeah. Uh, one more. Day of Independence. Okay, Independence Day. So we have Father's trabajo. Day, Father's Day, Independence Day. Uh, Job day. day, uh, Labor's Day, Labor's Holy, Day, uh, Holy trabajo. Week. No, pero es que esas son vacaciones. Teacher's Day, oh. los Teacher holidays. Day. Teacher's Day in the public schools. Yeah. Eso no lo da. En, en muchos lugares no se da. No, pero es que la mm. Christmas es parte de la vacación. Sí. Mm. Es la semana de vacaciones. La semana santa. También beer es day, también day, beer beer day. A quien le dan el birthday. <laughs> in, some companies, in some companies, it is a perk. You know, perk? Okay, great. Congratulations. Excellent. Congratulations. You're a super champion in this group. It is one of the perks. 
perks son beneficios extras que tienen en algunas compañías. Yes, you take the day off when it is your birthday. And in other companies, you work that day, but you receive a bonus, $25 or $50, I think, yeah, in some companies, but you have to work. Le pagan el día del cumpleaños, pero le dan un bonito, okay? Un bono, a little bonus, not bonito, a little bonus, okay? So here we go. Now, class, you're going to go to the breakout rooms and you're going to read aloud. You take turns reading this, uh, welcoming letter and you are going to say if the sentences from number one to number four according to this welcoming letter is true or false we are working class at page 15 okay is that okay, okay. yes okay very yeah. well and here we go Voy a recrear los grupos. Let me see. Okay, class, here we go. Join your groups. Please, I sent you the invitation. Five minutes for the activity. Okay, go to your groups. Go to your groups. And begin working. Juan Ezequiel, I need you in group number two. And Alejandra, Michelle, I need you in group number four. Noé, I need you in group number six, please. Noé, Noé Hernández, Mr. Noé Hernández, I need you in group number six, please. Thank you. Okay, take turns to read. Everybody needs to read, okay? Okay. Okay. Who is to start? Trata eso. Sería. Y si habla con los clientes. Uh -huh. Ahí está la teacher. Hello, teacher. teacher. Help. Ok, tell me. Help me o, o ayúdenos como es. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. But how can I help you? ¿Cómo les puedo ayudar? <laughs> Lo que vamos a hacer es la conversación, ¿verdad, licenciada? No, tienen que leer la carta cada uno. Practice pronunciation. Oh. Y luego, ah. que ya ha leído cada quien y comprenden mm -hmm. la información, entonces um, completan las oraciones. Preguntas. Si es verdadera la información de acuerdo a lo que aparece en la carta de bienvenida, ¿ok? Hi, teacher. How can I help you? ¿Cómo le puedo ayudar? Perdón la pregunta. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a desarrollar? You are going to read the letter, taking turns. Van a practicar pronunciación leyendo la carta de bienvenida para Dominic. Y luego, considerando la información que aparece en esa welcoming letter, van a determinar si las oraciones son true or false. True, verdaderas. False, falsa. ¿Ok? Okay, teacher. Okay, begin with the reading practice. Number two, eh, falso. Esa es falsa. Es falsa. La, la. False. False. No problems. No problem, teacher. Solo estamos dando tiempo que, oh. que hagan su, le dan oh. cambio a su cartita. 
Ok, great. Recuerden que tiene que contestar true or false, ¿verdad? Yes. En las oraciones. Tienen que eh, ver si esas oraciones que aparecen en la carta son falsas o verdaderas. De acuerdo a la información que aparece en la carta de Dominic. ¿Sí? Ah, okay, sí, okay. de, de, de verla. Eso, esta, ¿ve? vean. Ok, teacher. Sí, sí, en la que es, están a la parcita del cuadro. Ya, yeah, exercise number six. Considering the information in the letter for Dominic's, ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, hey, bye. 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 Hello, teacher. Hello, everything okay? No problem? Um, no sé si no da. Recuerden Ahí. que para ustedes, uh -huh. para ver, eh, ay, ¿dónde estaba Dani? No estaba con ustedes. No. Ay, ¿a dónde lo envío? Dios mío. Lo vamos a enviar al cielo. Ok, um, para determinar, ustedes tienen que determinar si las oraciones que aparecen en el ejercicio 6 son falsas o verdaderas. True, verdaderas. False, falso. Ah, Considerando okay. la información que aparece en la carta de bienvenida para Dominic. Ok. Ok. Ok, bye. Thank you. My pleasure. No problem. No teacher. No. Ok, great. Ok, bye. Gracias, bye. Bye. Ya, ya, ya respondimos, teacher. Ok, and everybody oh. read the letter. Todos y todas leyeron la carta. De bienvenida. A eso iba. Ok. A eso iba. Uh, Dani is in this group, ok. So you are Ana Verónica, Jenny's. Marlene mm -hmm. and Danny, Danny Alberto, okay? Okay, perdón. See you in two minutes. Bye. 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 Entonces, si gusta, comienza, Janice. Okay. Tra okay. Había que responder algunas preguntas. Hay que contestar. Esta, ¿verdad? Sí, mm -hmm. de acuerdo a la lectura. True or false? Are they true or false? ¿Son falsas o verdaderas? Okay. Mm -hmm. Dominic then, speaks to clients in his new job. That's true. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I see it. Finish. Wow. <laughs> Did you all read the, the welcoming letter? ¿Leyeron todos la carta de bienvenida para Dominic? Yes. Yeah. Because you were supposed to practice pronunciation, right? Okay. Otra vez vamos a practicar. Uh, no, but I am asking, and did you answer the questions? Uh, I yeah. mean, yeah. You determine if it was true or false. ¿Sí? ¿Determinaron si era falso o verdadero? Yes? Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Excellent. So let me see. Ah, because you are three, that's okay. The problem is in the groups where there are four people. They need more time. Actually, there is only one group, I think, with four people, two groups. Y los que han tenido problemas con el inter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see. Guys, for you, in your opinion, let's see. Dominique speaks to clients in her new job, true or false? False. Ah, no, sí, sí, habla con ellos, it is true. true. Ah, no, 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 no. Get in contact <laughs> with customers. Se pone en contacto <laughs> con los clientes, tiene que hablar. Yeah, <laughs> her salary is $100 per week, $100. Es false, false. false. Por, aquí les pregunta por semana. Y acá dice salary 440 per month, más los bonos. And it is false, yeah. Dominic gets a yearly vacation. Verdadero. True. Um, True. Two weeks per year, yeah. Plus public holidays. False. 
si se toma no no es verdadero no. veamos no. veamos Dominic no, es, no, mire, es falso en el sentido que también tiene los días de, de feriados libres ah, entonces es false sí porque hay compañías en las que solamente tienen derecho a dos semanas o a 20 días pero trabajan los días feriados, ¿sí o no? Los holidays. Sí. Ok, sí. entonces es false. She has to work on holidays. False. 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 Ah, ah, sí. Ok, very well. Entonces se estaban contradiciendo en la, en la pregunta anterior, ¿verdad? La, ok, let's get la back. La buena me equivoqué, de hecho, disculpe. Yeah, no problem. That's why we are human beings, ok? Don't feel, you know, Okay, get ready because I'm going to take the second attendance. Let's wait for the others to come back. David is in his way back, Carmen also. Danny is in his way. Okay, activate your cameras because I'm going to take the second attendance. I'm going to call your names. Ana Marlene. Ana Marlene, hello. Present. Okay. Present. Ana Veronica. Ana Veronica, your microphone. Present, present. Hey, no problem. Brandon. Present. Um, Carlos Miguel. Present. Great. Carmen Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Clelia. Present. Miss Clelia. Thank you, Clelia. Dani Alberto. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. David Emanuel. Present, teacher. Edwin Roberto. Where are you? Okay, great. Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Janice Caroline. Present teacher. Great, Miss. Jonathan. Here I am. Great. Jose Dimas. Present teacher. Jose Manuel Mejia. Absent. Present, no, present. Ah, now you're here. Okay. <laughs> And actually, the first time you answer. Jose Mario, absent. Uh, Juan Ezequiel, here. Present. Marlene, Oneida. Present. Thank you, Carol. Milton. Present. Great. Serafín. Serafín Constanza. Serafín Constanza. Lost the connectivity right now, Serafin. I know. Present, Miss. Ah, <laughs> only the audio. Uh, William. Hello, William Francisco. Here. William. Present. Okay, Present. great. Filomena Luz. Present, teacher. Great. Blanqui, Blanca Luz. Blanca. Where are you, Blanqui? In the microphone, what happened? Because it is active, your microphone, but we don't listen to you. But, okay. Uh, Alejandra Michel. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Beatriz Adriana, absent. Uh, Noé. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Did I mention your names, everybody? Yes? Okay. Now, class, here we go. Let's standardize the answers, okay? Let's double check the information here. Dominique speaks to clients in her new job, true or false? Hello, class. Is it true or false that Dominique speaks to clients in her new job? Yes, teacher. 
True. 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 Very well. True. Her, true. Her salary is a hundred ye a hundred dollars per week. Oh. 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 Because it is 440. Now, Dominic gets a yearly vacation. True. False. True. False. False. Why? Because she has two weeks per year, one vacation per year. And public holidays, también los días festivos, ella no asiste. No son solo los 15 días. Okay. Now, she has to work on holidays. False. False. Y acá, porque de lo contrario hay contradiction. There is an arbitrariness. Si dice aquí true y aquí eh, false, porque entonces eh, va o no va los días. No tiene una sola vacación, sino que tiene, aparte de sus vacaciones, los días holidays, the holidays. And now here, hmm, this is about you guys. How many days a week do you work? How much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? Okay, you're going to ask and answer these two questions. How many days a week do you work? And if I say, for example, Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan, are you here? No. no. Okay, Jonathan, how many days a week do you work? How many days a week do you work? Mm. Okay, yeah. ¿Cuántos días trabajas a la semana? ¿Cuántos días a la semana trabajas? Four, five, five, five six. Ajá, uh -huh. I work five days. Es lo que tiene que contestar cada quien. According to your nature. How much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? ¿Cuánto tiempo tienes para completar tus tareas en el trabajo? Mm, I have nine hours. Nine, nine hours, okay. And I will tell you. If you ask me, teacher, how much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? Uh, two hours per class. Yeah, dos horas por class. That would be my answer. So class, you're going to ask, how many days a week do you work? And how much time do you have to complete your tasks? Okay, these two questions you're going to be asking and answering in the breakout rooms, okay? Okay. That is at page, page 16, okay, at page 16. I'm going to stop it and, and now let's go to the breakout rooms. Join your groups. I sent you the invitation, okay? Let's begin. Go to your groups in the breakout rooms. Thank you so much. Only two questions. Ask and answer with your real information, okay? Go to your group. See you in the breakout rooms. Bye-bye, Jose Mejia. In group number one, Jose Mejia. Jose Mejia, go to group number one. Noé, I need you in group number six. Okay, Noé, I need you in group number six. Sí, ya las perdí. Vamos a ponerse las preguntas que están ahí, ¿verdad? Solo van a las dos preguntas yes. nada más. A, a, a las dos preguntas son nada más. Solo esas dos preguntas. Okay, con su información real. How many okay. days a week do you work and how much time do you have Ahí to está. complete your task? Así como se las pregunté yo a, a Jonathan y él me contestó con su información real. Mm -hmm. Así van a contestar ustedes, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, okay bye. Bye. Eh, tal vez se une. No, eh. Está de oyente. Uh, ok. Listener. <laughs> Listener. Ok, Ivania. How many days a week do you work? I work six days. How much time do you have to complete your task at work? Uh, yeah, how many days a week do you rest? Miren, tienen que completar solamente las dos preguntas. Tienen que contestar con su información real. Ya terminaron de preguntar y contestar esas dos preguntas. Las que están en el ejercicio uno que se las mostré. Sí, ya las preguntaron. Y no. ya las contestaron. Ajá. With your real information. Ejercicio número uno es el que tiene que hacer, ¿ok? 
Okay, okay. Okay, bye. Todos preguntan y todos contestan. Okay. Ahí ready. Ok, comiencen con las preguntas y su información real, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Ok. Le okay. voy a preguntar yo a Filomena. La última me falta. Ok. Ah, pues Alejandra está lista. Hello. Hello, is anybody here? Carmen Guadalupe, Carlos Miguel, are you here? I am Hello. Here. Jonathan is here. Begin asking and answering the questions, please. Answer with your real information, the same as I did with Jonathan, okay? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Papa. Daddy. Papa. Okay. Hours, sería. ¿Cómo? Hours. 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 Okay. Okay. Hours. Eh, Serafín y yo son las mismas horas y los mismos días, piche. Oh, really? Somos, somos compañeros. En... Ay, no. <risa> sí. Ay, no. Ok. In one minute we get back, ok? Ok. Um, Okay, thank you for telling me. How many days How many days a week do you work? How many days a week do you work? Yes. Y la segunda es how much? How how much? How much time do you have? Time do you have? To complete, to complete your task at work. Your task at work. Your, your task. Task. Your task. Que se pronuncia la S al final. Task. Vale. Task. Sería la última. How much time do you have to complete your task at work? Y ahí volvemos. Vale, ahora vuelvo a preguntarle. How many days a week do you work, Jenny? I I have five days. How much time do you have to complete your task at work? Did you finish, people? Yes. The practice, okay, very well. Excellent. Congratulations. So you, all of you, ask the two questions and you answer with the real information, correct? Yes. Okay. Correct. Excellent. Very well. So let's get back to the uh, main session room. Okay. You can stop your time. Okay. Thank you so much. Brandon, Juan, and Milton are still working. David also is in his way. Jonathan and Carmen. Okay, great. Now class, I ask you, what did we practice today in class? What did we practice today in class? ¿Qué practicamos hoy en clase? Did you practice speaking? Yes. 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 Did you practice reading? Yes. yes. Did you practice writing? 
Yes. 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 Did you practice listening to your partners? Yes. yes. Okay, so you practice the four basic skills to learn a language. And what, tell me, what was the topic of today? The grammatical topic that you practice today. ¿Cuál fue la estructura gramatical, el tema gramatical que practicamos hoy en clase? How many countable and uncountable nouns? Yes, we use how much for? Uncountable nouns and how many for countable, lo que se puede contar, how many, how much con lo que no podemos contar. Okay, so um, I've been uh, having a meeting with Juan Ezequiel and Brandon, right, Brandon? You stay yesterday with me. Is that correct? Brandon, where are you? Okay, ayer estuvimos practicando, ¿verdad, Brandon? Yes, after class. Okay, great. Now I'm going to ask Filomena Luz to stay with me. Uh, when the partners say goodbye, uh, Filomena Luz, you're going to stay with me for 10 minutes, okay? So people, continue practicing in the platform and thank you so much. Congratulations for your practicing class. You're super champions. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, okay? Bye. 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 ¿Estamos claros o necesita un refuerzo en la estructura con how much y how many? Este, no, este no tengo claro. Ok, muy bien. En how many. ¿Con los how nombres many. contables y los no contables? Sí, también. También le quedó clarito, que me alegra. Sí. Entonces, entonces, vamos a practicar pronunciation. Okay. Vamos a practicar un ratito la pronunciación. ¿Le parece? Está bien. Ok. Here. Here we go. Yo leo en una ocasión, luego nos turnamos, ¿verdad? Practicando esta conversación sí. y luego me lo lee usted solita, ¿ok? Hey, Josh, okay. I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Rose? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. Now I am going to be Ruth and you read Josh, okay? Yo leo Ruth y usted lee Josh. Here we go. Okay. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? Twenty. 20. 20. 20 day. To, to be, be ex, to be exact. No, to be exact. To be hat. No, to be. Repeat to after be, me. Exact. It exact. Excellent. Exact. Continue. It, exact. How many? Bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have, how do, but eight. Bonus is for more than, than sit hundred. On the Dollars. Okay, you say I have just two. 
but each bonus is for more than $600, okay? Now we switch. You are Ruth and I am Josh. You begin. Okay. Hey, Chang, I have a question for you. Do you have paying vacation at your town? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paying vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you raise, Steve? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. Now you read all the conversation alone. Ahora va a leer toda la conversación solita, pero antes la voy a leer yo, ¿ok? Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Rose? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two. But each bonus is for more than $600. Ahora, now you read alone. Okay. Hey. Young, I have a question for you. No, question. 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 Okay. Question. For you, do you have pain vacation at your home? Job. 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 Yes, I do, root. How about you? Me too. I have been vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20. 20. 20 day. To be exact, how many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you raise? I have just two, but each, each, no, each, no, each, each, by it. Bonus mm -hmm. for more than six hundred dollars. Okay. Thank you so much. And now let's continue over here. Okay. Travers Inc. for a better future. Dear employee, welcome to Travers Inc. Congratulations, you are now part of the Travers family. Here's some information about your new job, your new job. Please read it, please read it carefully. Name, Glenda Dominic Sanchez. Job title, Junior Sales Manager. Key job duties, key job duties. Have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacations, two weeks per year, plus, plus public holidays. Salary. 
$440 per month plus bonus. Good luck, Mark Travers, CEO. Okay, now it is your turn, begin. Ahora comienza usted a leer. Travers Inc. desde el inicio, Luz. Lo que está ahí, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Travers Inc. For Unbeated Furies. Dead Employee. Welcome to Travers Inc. Congratulations. You are now part of the travel family. Here's some information about your new town. Okay, here's, here's. Here's, uh -huh. here's some information. Yes. About your new town. Please read it carefully. Okay. Nay, Glenda Dominic Sanchez, John Tin, Junior Sales Manager. Ken Chong. No. Ki, Ki Chang Duties. Ki Chang Duties. Du Duties. Uh -huh. King of duties. Mm -hmm. How a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact. In contact. With, Get in contact. Get in contact with customer. Out where clients question about your product. Mm -hmm. They order on the telephone. Call Pontel. Pontel. Clients. Mm -hmm. Okay. But caption do which per year publish. Uh-huh. Okay. Salary. Four hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. No, four hundred. Cuatrocientos. Four hundred. I know. Four hundred. No, four hundred. Porque si me dice thousand, es son cuatro mil y estos son cuatrocientos cuarenta. Four hundred. Hundred. Aha. Dollar. Aha. No, four hundred forty. Porque son cuatrocientos cuarenta. Cuatrocientos cuarenta, perdón. Four hundred forty dollars per month. Uh, for one train. No. Listen, four hundred. Four hundred. No, hundred. 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 Excellent. Four hundred. Four dollars. Uh -huh. No. Four hundred forty. Ah, four hundred. No, hundred. No, hundred. Hundred. Uh huh. Forty. Forty dollars. Per uh -huh. dollar per month. Plus. Plus. Bonus. Holiday. Ah, no, aquí ah, vamos ya de plus bonus. Bonus. Ajá. Ajá. Good luck. Good luck. Esta U suena como una A suavecita. Good luck. Ah. Good luck. Good luck. Mark, Mark Travers. Travers. CEO. 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 Acá debe ser CEO. O, oh, pero se confundieron y escribieron F. Tiene que ser CEO. Así ah, CEO. Ajá, uh -huh. CEO. Ok. So, escúcheme. 440. Repeat after me. 440. 
440. 400. Repeat. 400. 400. 100. 440. 400. No, 100, no. 100. Como que fuera una J. 100. Como que fuera una J. J. Ajá. 100. 100. Excellent. And 40. 40. Okay, and that's it. Oh, take care of your baby. Thank you so much, Luz. Okay. Thank you. Teacher. Okay, <laughs> see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Um, okay, good night. blessings. Likewise, sleep happily. Okay, sleep well. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.